Spotify has launched a brand new feature and we're gonna talk about what this means for artists in today's video. What's up guys, this is Omari with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you are a serious musician, you wanna go full time in music, you wanna do music as a career, you need to hit that subscribe button because we go over key marketing information from experience. We have worked with 20,000 artists, done tens of thousands of campaigns with serious musicians. So we give this information from the place of experience, not opinion, so hit that subscribe button. In today's video, Spotify has unlocked a new locked feature on their platform. So if you're in the U.S., you can start seeing this. They wrote this out in the U.S. first. If you're in, uh, you know, European countries, wherever you're watching this from, it's in the U.S. right now. They'll probably roll this out to wherever you are uh, in the future here shortly. But audiobooks have come to Spotify. We're going to talk about what this means for artists. Um, so uh, most people are familiar with what an audiobook is, but just in case you're not, it's just whenever it's, it's like a podcast, but instead of being unstructured or, you know, more free flowing, it's just reading the audiobook. Um, and usually it's best to have, just in case you're going to do this as an artist, uh, it's best to have you reading the audiobook because people want to connect with the author more than to like hire somebody to read your audiobook for you. So I think that this could have good implications for artists because one of the features that they introduce is that these are not just buffet style. So we talked about this. We talked about the whole royalty breakdown on our channel many times. You can go look at our previous videos. Um, we'll try to maybe include some in the recommended section uh, video card on this. But Spotify just has a buffet style for all of the music on the platform right now. But the audiobook section is actually locked. So you, it's not just a free for all on there, like the music and the podcast. You have to pay for these audio books. It's kind of like this, this upsell that's in there now, which I think is a good idea. I think it's time to break people from this mindset that music and movies are just this full buffet style. There has to be a way to do the upsells. And it, there's a realistic way to do that for movies right now, but there hasn't been a realistic way to do that for music. Like with movies, if, it, if it's big enough and enough people want to go watch it, they'll still pay to go watch it in theaters or they'll still pay to rent it. Like if it's a you know big superhero movie or um, you know just a movie that's like hyped up, people are still like Star Wars or whatever. People still want to pay their money to go to the theater um, and that's how they really rake in their, their profits and their revenue. With music, people... Like they just, there hasn't been a model that people still want to pay the 10 bucks for the album. And, um, but not like Kanye kind of messed with this some, and we need to keep introducing this to people. Like, it's okay to have a lot of the catalog on there for them to just stream buffet style, like Spotify, Netflix, all that stuff. But on top of it, we need to have these upsells for people. I think the stream is a good idea. Like, the, People who are totally adverse to that, you need to get over that because you want a lot of that revenue coming from the streaming and you setting up all these other things like setting up your website and having uh, other products and uh, you know services for sale. But also to have this upsell directly on the platform that if you really, really like this artist, just like if, if Kanye had an option to have the upsell on a platform, he likely would have taken that, but it's just in Taylor Swift too. Like if she had had the option whenever, you know, she was disgruntled with a lot of the services, if there was the option for artists to have the upsell on there beforehand, like, hey, you need to be a supporter of my, my channel or you need to subscribe to me and pay this 10 bucks a month or whatever, and then you can hear my album early, there's going to be a lot of people who do that. Now, most people aren't, but you're not you're not worried about most people right now. You're just worried about those people who are your most fanatic uh, group. So this audiobook, while most artists are not going to go out and make an audiobook and make an ebook or whatever, I think this opens the gateway for that type of technology to be introduced. So I think it's one, Spotify does want to get involved in the audiobook space. I think it's smart. Um, like audiobooks, even though you can listen to podcasts, right? Podcasts are free. Um, there's there's always going to be a bunch of podcasts for free. 
Uh, but kind of like you can watch YouTube videos for free when you want to take something seriously. Like if you just want everything laid out for you in a course, then you'll just buy the online course. Like it might be 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, a uh, few hundred dollars. But whenever somebody does a course, it's just going to be laid out for you step by step. And they're usually going to give you information inside of that course that they wouldn't give you elsewhere. Like they're not going to give you everything for free. Nobody gives you everything for free. Like if you want the best information, even for people who do mostly free YouTube channels on marketing like us, if you want some of the information we're going to give out, it'll be in a course. And with us, we actually give out the courses. We we do it in a clever way where we just bundle it. So if you're a music artist uh, and you want to learn like in depth about SEO or Google ads or you know Facebook ads or setting up a website or whatever, we just give the, we let you pick a course whenever you buy music promotion from us. So we, we do it as a package deal and that makes it a lot easier for artists. But this like let's say you're an artist and you, you want to do those types of upsells, but you don't really have a website built out, which you should. But let's say you don't. This creates another revenue stream for you. And I think it's a good idea for Spotify to start doing this um, to note audiobook actually i believe it was last month rolled out its premiere access feature which enables artists to reward their biggest fans with early access to not yet uh, officially released music so it's kind of like that supporters button they're they're really taking traffic away from patreon because i've said this before there's nothing proprietary about patreon uh, you can set that up on your website very easily but this is like the, there's no reason for for Patreon to really have any significant market share where people just pay like a monthly subscription fee for unlock content. They can just include this on their platforms and you need to have it on your platform as well, your website. Uh, but uh, Instagram started doing this and we'll have a video on that. Uh, but this is this just makes sense. Like we have to give artists more opportunities. And if you're an artist, you need to start thinking of ways that you can add so much value to your listeners that they want to pay you that five bucks. Like if you are not, if you don't have your email list set up and there's no one-to-one -one connection, you can't get as much one-to-one -one connection on social media. You still need email lists or text lists. Text lists are great uh, ways to really communicate one-to-one -one with your audience where they feel like they know you, like you're texting them on their phone. There's different services that you can do that and make it very efficient for you to do that. Then you can introduce them to some of these upsells and make it super duper easy. Like with Spotify, you don't need Spotify to do this, but uh, if you have that that subscription service at 10 bucks a month that they can pay just for your content, um, you will get a percentage of those people to convert over to that product because they'll feel like they know you at that point. So you're nurturing your audience so that they will want to do that. Um, but just keep an eye out, because I think that means, you know, Spotify has been getting into a lot of these upsell type products. So they partnered with Shopify to be able to sell merch on uh, Spotify. They also started their uh, concert tickets service. So they haven't, I haven't heard that one pushed as much, but you know, if people are already on there listening to music, why wouldn't they just Hit the button and buy the ticket there too. Like they can put Ticketmaster out of business. Now Ticketmaster has a lot of relationships, so that one's much harder to do. But uh, this, they can take at least significant market share. Like that's that's what they're looking to do. So this is a high level overview, uh, looking on hey where are they planning on going? And I actually think this one is a good move. We need to break that mindset from people that. Music and movies, these entertainment products and our jobs and careers are just buffet style where they don't do that with other services. Uh, so if you make high quality music, one, your music has to be super duper high quality. The people, if I'm going to pay this extra, just like if I want to go watch this movie and it's in the theater and I'm going to pay that extra when I already pay for Netflix and, you know, um, I, I pay for all these other things, this movie better be so great that I don't feel I don't feel badly whatsoever that I paid this extra. So make sure that people feel that same way whenever they are about to pay extra to you for your music and the services that you're providing through your music career. 
All right, so that's what we got in this video, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think this is a good move from Spotify, let's keep the pressure on them. You know, hit them up, blast their email, blast their social media, tell them that these are the things that you want. You're not begging them for anything, but this is it's just another opportunity for for you to make some more money in your music career. And don't ever totally depend on them because you need to have your own website where you have your own products and services that you set the price on, that you're not giving an extra cut to Spotify, that you get that traffic, you own the email list, you own the files on your website, ownership. You need to own those things. Um, this is, you know, by all means, use these features on Spotify, but you need to have your own website that you're doing these things in. If you don't have your own website or don't know how to build a good one, a good marketing-based one, you can check out our options at omarmc.com. We'll include a link in the description section. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel if you're a serious musician, and we'll catch you in the next one.